One thing about a circus is that it is still a total fascination to youngsters and to oldsters as well, for that matter. Our Tom Cook has a special report. This is my new friend John. He and his preschool friends from Hudson were waiting patiently this morning for a glimpse of the circus parade. A circus has a particular fascination for youngsters. It even brings some of the child out of me. So I decided to give John a close-up look of the greatest show on earth and made him my guest back by the railroad cars where all the animals were being unloaded. I remembered how excited I was when the circus came to town and knew that John would help me share some of that excitement. Like any kid that age, John oohed and awed when the elephants came out and then a chance of a lifetime to walk right up and pet an elephant. And at four and a half, John even told me how you can tell them apart from horses. Wow! Horses don't have trucks and elephants too. And they're not as... They're not as tall as an elephant, and... What about the ears? Oh, the ears. Elephants have big ears, don't they? Yeah, but horses, though. In two weeks, the circus will pack up and move to winter quarters, and many of us will forget about the circus. But John will never forget the day he got to pet an elephant. For TV5 Eyewitness News, this is Tom Cook and Friend. From the circus now to the Mickey Mouse Club, if you ever get the feeling that age is suddenly creeping up on you,